thank God for this life in yes. us. Yes. This is life in us. That's why we get to feel like this. Hey, you know? man. And when he gives you the Holy Ghost, then when he calls you for an invitation, you get to come. Yes. And without that, you don't get to. And about, I don't know how many weeks ago, I had this, I've had this burden. You know, sometimes God has to take you through things. And yeah, he can lift it all at one time, but you might not always learn what you're supposed to learn. And right. mm -hmm. he just took everything right when you wanted him to. Mm -hmm. So one morning I woke up, and I was so heavy, I just started crying. As soon as I woke up, and I thought, Jesus, you know all about this burden. Mm -hmm. You know all about this burden. Mm -hmm. And I felt like God gave me an invitation to spend a day with him. And I had things to do, but I tell you what, when I felt the Holy Ghost follow me in that bed, I thought, God, this is me and you because I want this burden to be gone because I don't want anything that's on the inside of me preventing this to be gone because it all starts right here first. Yes. And we can say that with words, but there are times that you pray and you're like, and I've done this myself, God, I can feel this way if this changed or that changed or this person changed or or if the whole situation changed. Well, guess what? It might not change. No, might not. But you know what? God can make you feel different. Amen. God can make you the overcomer, and he can take that right out of you. Amen. And that day, it was, it was a, I knew it was an invitation from God. And I thought, I do not want to pass this up. Yes, I have things to do and go. But I said, nope. I'm staying right here, God. And I would pray, and I would get up and I'd do a few little things and that would hit me again. The Holy Ghost would fall and we'd have a conversation about me, mm. about situations. And I was like, God, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to give this up for anything. I would not want my day to take over what I'm feeling. Mm. And you know, by the, that happened. It happened in waves. I don't know how else to tell y'all, but it just happened in waves. And I thought, God, I'm still here because I still feel that burden. But by the end of the day, I got so real with God, He took that. Praise he God. took that. But I had to get real on the inside of me. Yes. I had to be That's willing right. to listen yes. right. to what God said. It may not change, but are you going to change? Yeah. Are you going to have different feelings even yeah. if it doesn't change? And you know what? When I got done with the end of the day, Jesus took that. I didn't take it. I was just willing for God to take it. I was willing to let all of my thoughts and all the way I think things should be had to be gone. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Man. Like, whew. And to be able, and then you get up the next day and you go, Jesus, is it gone? Guess what? It was gone. Mm -hmm. And it's been gone ever since then. And, I, and from that point, I said, God, just let me walk in the love of God Amen. in that that you gave me. Amen. Let me just Amen. walk in that. If we walk in the true love of God and leave yourself out of it, think about other people, mm -hmm. yes. guess what? God will keep you there. Yeah. It's so good to me. Amen. Man, I appreciate it. Don't ever pass up. If Jesus wakes you up and says, let's have a day together, mm -hmm. take your time to have a day with Jesus. Take, time. take the time. Absolutely. It was so Amen. good. I love it when Jesus just says, I got the power. Yeah. I got what you need. Got but you here. got to come Amen. to a place Amen. where you're really, I'm not you talking, take. you can't be talking words. I've talked the words before. And I thought, oh, yeah, I want, yeah, it's probably, no. What if it really is you? Yeah. Some yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's really the truth. It was really that way to me. Yeah. And I thought, God, I'll change whatever it is on the inside of it. But would you take this burden? Took it. Praise I love God, God for that. Amen. That was so good to me. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Wonderful. It doesn't matter what place you're in, whatever burden, whatever good you you think you are, whatever bad you think you've been, there always comes a place. This is what, it's taking me a little while. It's still taking me time to catch up to what really God did. He takes you to this place, whether he deals with you through a burden, 
And sometimes we don't always like the burdens God gives us. And we rationalize it, but God, but if it was this way, I could feel different. Or if my life was that way, I would be happier. No, the only happiness is if you do it God's way. And only if you can see it as God. Like Brother John said about, we just got to believe that Jesus loves us. Because He does. And it goes along with the all things. It's the same thing. You say, oh, I believe that God's in control. But... But when things are not going your way, or the way you think they ought to, or how you think people should treat you, and they haven't treated you, suddenly you forget that God really is the all things. Amen. And that He really is in control of your life. We say that in words, but are we really inside of here? Really seeing that? Because if you are, you dismiss the people. You dismiss yeah. the circumstances because God has you in that place because He wants you to believe that He really is guiding your Amen. life. Amen. And whatever that life is, there is a, like Lou said today, it's that sweet spot. And I have had this burden for a long time. I mean, a very long time. And that morning when I woke up, it met me. And it fell on me in, in my bed. And I hope I can tell this the way it really was. Because it laid on me. And it hurt. And my first thought was, I started telling him how it felt. And I said, Jesus, but you. And I said, this is the way I felt. I felt so naked spiritually because I was unable to lift that. I could not make that go away no matter how I tried. No matter how I act like my feelings weren't there. I couldn't do that. So I was in a place where I said, Jesus, I have one request. Will you just let me touch you today? And it wasn't like, it was like I meant it from the bottom of my heart. And it, it took out all of me. I don't know how to tell that any better. But it wasn't like if you changed this, this would be better. If it was this, if it, it took all the anger, all the bitterness. I was, I was naked. Right. I was so humble in my spirit. I hope you can understand. Because when Jesus meets you in that place and He says, come. I didn't want any of my will to be in the room. I don't know how else to say it. So I said, Jesus, if you'll let me touch you. I know you can take this. And I knew Jesus gave me an invitation. I knew he did. Because I was there naked before Jesus. And I'm talking about taking all of me out. I didn't care what it took. I said, Jesus, what, however you want it. And whatever you decide. I don't care about people, situations, but all I want is to feel your peace. That's all I want. I want to be in that place Amen. where I can meet you. And it wasn't like I was free to run and fall at Jesus' feet. I felt like that moment I had to ask him, let me come to you. Please, mm. let me touch you. And he did. <laughs> And he did. Praise God. And he's, what was so sweet about it is it laid there. It stayed there. And when I would pray, it would lift. 
And then, but it was sober. And I knew it was God in me. It was God. And we were having conversations that were so real that I couldn't have my own will. I didn't even want it. The best part is I didn't want my will. Amen. That was the sweetest, best part because in that peace, it's His will and not mine. I met him. And so then I thought, okay, Jesus, I know I have things to do, but I didn't want things to do. So I piddled a little bit how you do in your house. And all of a sudden, Jesus would come. And it would, it would lay on me. And I would get down and we'd talk. And I tell it just Good like it God. was, and he told me just the way it was. Amen. <laughs> and I was like, yes, God, yeah. I've been this, and I've been this, and yes, somebody's done this to me, and yes, it's been like this, but I don't care, Jesus. I want peace above all of myself. I want you above that. Amen. And truly, it's taken... I've. I feel like Beth says, it's kind of like that foundation thing. And Junior has said to me before, he would say, Natalie, you've been to that place before. I said, no, I've never been to this place before. Because before, I could pretend and push that aside and act like I'm fine. But there's a new place that I don't want to act like I'm just fine. Amen. <laughs> because I wasn't just fine. Amen. This is what was so good. Because I was being so real with God, He was kind enough to be that real with me. Man, I'm telling you, this has been, this has been so good. And so then, as the day went on, I didn't know that Jesus would lift that burden. I didn't know that He would. But I was pleased if he wasn't, as long as he would touch me Amen. when he came. And I went through the day, and it was a whole day. Junior was going to work. It was me and Jesus. And the whole day, when he decided he would come to visit me, I stopped everything, and I got on my knees. And I prayed until it lifted. And it's like you said, Brother John, are we going to listen to what God says? If it's different from everything else that we've heard, that's what you said. And it brought back to me, when you're in a place where you're that real with God, you have made yourself available Amen. to Jesus. Amen. And that's what he brought back to mind when you were preaching, is if you make yourself available, he can work. And that's we can't do anything, but we can live right, and we can be so honest with ourselves and with God. Mm -hmm. And you know, and in that place, you don't want to change other people. No. Brother John, I can come to you and say this and this and this and this. Why don't you help me fix it? But you know what's better? Is if Jesus fixes you, Yes. And then you live in that place. Amen. And then start letting God. And if God chooses, if other people meet that place, because this is where fellowship really comes in. That's right. I'm telling you, I know what Jesus did. I'm catching up to it better. Praise God. But the real fellowship is if I'm in this place and we have a discrepancy or we might have something between us, I can't come to you and try to fix you. It's not going to ever work. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus has to take you to the sweet spot. That's right. It's like you said, Gary, if somebody rubs you the wrong way, who do you want to be around? You might want to be around that person who really right. rubs you the wrong way. Right. I'm telling you, this is good, y'all. This is good to me. Praise because God. I'm different. My prayer to Jesus is different. My feelings about every person in this room is different. Praise God. Samuel, your testimony was as real as anything I've heard. Amen. It's good. Amen. You know the reason you had that testimony? is because Jesus has been in every hurt you've ever felt. Amen. 
and thank God for it. Because Jesus uses your hurts and He can do something if you take them to Him. Ben, the reason your songs mean so much to me because I know where you, Jesus has taken you in your hurts. And every young person in here, you're going to experience a hurt. But there's a sweet spot in Jesus that no mama and no daddy can feel. But Jesus can. I'm telling you, I have been with Jesus. And what's so good about it is, yeah, sometimes it that little something still comes and it wants to to bother me. And I go, no, I'm not interested. Amen. Jesus, I'm not interested in that. You're the only person who can fix it. I can't change. But you can. That's, that's where I have to leave it. Amen. But you know what's so sweet? Even if you're hurt and Jesus hasn't changed your burden, that when he comes, he still comes to me, and he has. And if I'm at home, I stop whatever I'm doing, and I go get on my knees, and I start telling him Praise what I'm God. feeling at that very moment. Praise and sometimes it's thankfulness, because he did not have to take that burden from me. He didn't have to take the anger. He didn't have to take blaming other people. He didn't have to take that from me, but he did, and I'm grateful. So now when I feel him, he's really saying, come and spend time with me and let me hold you. Let me hold you. My goodness. And I'm like, yes, let me come to you. He doesn't, not everybody gets to feel that, but we do. Everybody in here, if he comes and says, and you feel that little unction to go get along with Jesus. Go do it. Just go do it. I told Lou I was going to share this testimony with her, so I went to Lou's house. Well, we had a meeting. We really did. We got to share all of what I'm telling you right now. We got to share with her. And the things that God had been doing with her. There really is a fellowship that we don't know about, that we, we say we do, but there's one... <coughs> I hope I can say this. There is one where you live in the place where you find that that spot between you and Jesus and quit trying to fix everybody else to match what you are, what you think they should be. Amen. That's what Jesus is doing. Don't try to fix. Jesus can do his job. Amen. If we're all willing. Amen. He really can. He can do his job if we're all willing. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is good to me. I feel so good. I feel so good because God is kind enough to visit. He visited me. We serve a real God. We serve one that's kind enough to visit us. And that's the way I felt when he came to my room and sat there. I felt like, Jesus, you were kind of visit me. Thank you. And he took the burden. I'm different. I really am Praise different now. God. I'm different because when I feel that it means more to me than anything, it's like I'm, I'm running. And I catch up, you know, you know, <laughs> you know it's like, Oh, 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 yes. Let me meet you there, Jesus. And he just, it's a good job. I had to share that. Praise God. 